Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and today we're checking out the server room, the new shelter in 76. But not only that, we're actually going to be checking out part of it that you normally can't get into. That being the area back there. Because that is a huge area to block off the player from going to. But it's alright, I'm going to show you exactly how to get back there. Because as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, I bet I can use the same trick I used on the aquarium. And sure enough, you take a rug, you put another rug on top of that, and then we're going to go grab a chair and hang a chair off the very end of it. So, your very first rug should be the thing at the bottom of the stack, so that if you pick up the first rug, it will pick up everything. Then we're going to move over to the wall near the blocked off area and we're going to try to position the chair but just barely in the wall because if you put it too far in you're not going to be able to activate the chair in fact looking back on this now i may actually be able to eliminate one of the rugs but it works the way it is so i'm just going to keep it that way for now we're going to go back here and explore a little bit because wow this is cool also extremely disappointing that this is all here and it's blocked off from the player and not only that there's things you can loot back here yeah I mean it sucks that I'm over encumbered but that's the price my character has to pay for wearing a jetpack normally I don't rock one so I mean you can come back here loot some fans you can loot the ashtray some items back here though look like stuff you could pick up but you can't actually pick them up but either way it seems like there's a, a lot of wasted space going on inside this shelter and it kills me uh, I just want to be like why can't we build in this half why didn't you make a way for us to get in here but that's gonna be partially explained here in a second so you you really need to keep watching because you're going to understand real soon why they didn't let us back here. We'll head off this way and oh it seems like we found uh, a way into nothingness. Uh, a spot that we shouldn't have found. we we'll go the other way. Oh we've gone into nothingness again and we can see through walls. Pretty friggin cool. Let's see if we can get up here now if we look back above where we came in, and I'll focus on that again here in a second, there's actually something really weird going on there. Of course the the spots up here, just like the spots below, I mean, it, it just, it ends in nothingness. And you can totally look through other sections of the shelter. But again, back to what I was saying, straight across from here. You see that little green spot? Yeah, we're going to go up there because that was like the highlight of my exploration was finding this green thing we get up here oh uh, look at that look at that. first of all it's green so i kind of like it already but i really like it because look at that it is a it's like the vault icon or logo with whip inside of it work in progress that is something that as players we should never be able to see but it is so cool at least to me to stumble upon that I was like oh my gosh that is freaking awesome but then again I'm I'm weird so maybe you don't find that nearly as entertaining as I do but that seemed pretty special when I was exploring also on a side note we're totally walking on top of the ceiling right now, which is pretty darn cool. Now, if you're wondering, can you build back in the area we broke into? Can you build up here? Unfortunately, no, you can't. But, I mean, it does make sense to an extent. I mean, we shouldn't even be where we're at right now, so... But still, just going around exploring this place... It really just leaves me wanting the ability to build back in the area we broke into. It'd be real easy to seal off the uh, 
end walkways that ended in nothingness. Just throw up a wall and a fake door. Uh, as for the spot where we broke in up top, I mean, y yeah, you're going to have to throw a wall in there to keep us from going through. But th there's part of me that just sits here and goes, I paid for this vault. And I feel like roughly half of the vault is inaccessible, short of extreme methods. But I, I had to share this with all of you, just because it was so cool getting to explore this and see what was back there. But I figure I, I can't be the only one that wants to hop back there and check this out, because this is too cool. I mean, look at that. There's even, like, what looks to be Minecraft clouds going on in the sky. Uh, the things we were never meant to see. But that is one of my favorite parts about a game. Is seeing the things you were never meant to. So, if you get in here and you're wondering, well, how do I get back out? Because you're not going to be able to go back through the chair unless you've rigged up a second chair. So, you just run over to one of these dead ends jump off the edge, and you just teleport right back to the entrance of the shelter, and you're good to go. You're back outside again. I, I hope you've enjoyed this. That's going to wrap this one up. As usual, please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.